label. Uh, so we'll change the spelling, we'll change the look of the letters just a little bit, but it'll be the same colors and at a glance it'll look just like a cheese it box. Uh, just to go a little deeper with product placement, uh, have, who's familiar with the American Singing Competition American Idol? Yeah. yeah. Okay, who, who sponsors American Idol? Coca-Cola, right? Coca-Cola, yeah, yeah. right? Yeah, so whenever you see those judges sitting at their desk, you see those Coca-Cola oh, cups, yeah. right? Right there. Bam. <laughs> However, when you see a commercial for American Idol, the Coke is not there. Mm -hmm. The word Coke is gone off those glasses. That is because Coca-Cola did not pay for that commercial, and that is not a commercial advertising Coca-Cola. That is a commercial advertising American mm -hmm. Idol which means that the company, Fox, will hire what's called a smoke editor to go in on that footage and Photoshop out or erase every one of those Coke labels. Interesting, huh? Take a walk in here. I love this little eating area as well. Now, you can't see a whole lot of coloring, my friends, because the lights aren't up, okay? But if the lights were turned on, you would see blue and chartreuse and all these wonderful colors. Now that brings me to talking about color palettes. Everything down to colors are created for the, uh, for the characters, believe it or not. What color clothes do they wear? What color car do they drive? What color is their cubicle that they work in? What kind of decoration do they have? All these things are created specifically for that character. Now once color palettes are chosen, a lot of people have to talk to each other, I'll tell you. Otherwise you could have a real nightmare on your hands. Let's just say a painter was told to